generally African-American men are portrayed in American society in a not too complimentary light. They're either hip hoppers, gangsters, or fools. And unfortunately, you don't see the better side. I mean, largely African-American men are portrayed as, you know, perpetrators on the evening news, as animalistic, barbaric figures, shiftless, lazy. That's really not intelligent individuals, you know what I mean? Like, largely, like, we're portrayed now like the way we were portrayed a century ago, which is, you know, largely subhuman. Mm. You want the true answer? Drugs, jail, okay. Right? Drugs, jail, okay. Depending on what music videos you look at, the movies like The Wood and you know, the brothers, those are very successful black yeah. men. Mm, but there's true. not a lot of those movies that, yeah, that should it, be more of them. It wasn't wait, a wait, black best. I think the black man is treated worse than any other segment in the population. Hopefully, we could, you know, try to rectify that and really create a new reality for our kids to aspire to, to be, you know what I mean? That's why in my art and things I do, I'm striving to give our kids something different to look at an alternative that you you don't have to be you know a low life to be respected you know what i mean you don't have to be you know what what society deems of you you don't have to be a hustler a drug dealer whatever you know what i mean you don't you don't have to even be a basketball player you could do more you don't have to be a rapper you could be a lawyer you could be an educator you could do anything you want to do so you know hopefully everyone will start to realize that in the um, in the upcoming years, black man in the family is to be the head of his family and take care of his family, nurture his family, teach them the principles that they need to know, and uh, transmit to them values. And just like any other per any other the white male in the family, it's no different. He has the same responsibilities. He has the same desires that everybody else has for their family. But um, there's uh, much talk in the last, you know, five years about black male initiatives uh, throughout the country, uh, black male, male mentoring, uh, uh, black male, you know, uplifting in many ways. Uh, so I think there's began to um, be more discussion and more action and initiative to try to make us uh, more responsible and productive uh, in positive ways. On the other hand, the African-American woman is usually portrayed as a strong individual, with some exceptions with the hoochie mamas, but that is not really the case because African American men and women run the gamut. We run from the bottom of the pit to the top, and so do women. African American women, well, this is just me, this is my perspective. African American women are largely portrayed as very controlling, domineering figures? A uh, little bit better than, than, than the uh, male. However, that's not the way uh, they are either. They're um, revered as entertainers. Uh, there's not that level, they're not given the level of a, a achievement that or giving credit for the achievement that, that they have. Black women, I think that we are the bitch. Like <laughs> we are the bitch and we are pat like we're angry, we're argumentative, we're what else? Strong. Strong. We Don't got like twelve got kids. Yeah. yeah. It's like we take on the, the male role exactly. almost because what is it? It's mm, trying to keep their head above water, trying to get a job, trying to take care of their family. You know what I mean? If the man ain't do it, now it's up to the woman. So that's why the men run away. 
You know what I mean? There's no father in their life, so the mother got to pay the mother, the father, the, the grandfather, the grandmother. You know what I mean? Sometimes they go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs because they can't, they got to play four or five different personalities. You know what I mean? So it's hard for a black woman. You know, just angry, angry just <laughs> loud, Bitter. ghetto. And I mean, I guess in a way, I think they shine a negative light upon all those characteristics. But if you take a more positive approach to the, the, those characteristics, we're angry, or not even, it's not even angry, but just we're... Just assertive. We're yeah. assertive. We're, we're open-minded. Like, we're, you know, we, we don't want you to see black and woman. We got two whammies on us. Can we, like... You know what I mean? But you have to also realize that he's ignorant at the same time because he's a kid. Children don't have a lack of respect for their parents. They have a lack of respect for their parents. Because they feel like their parents own something. You have the highest high school dropout rates. You have the highest number of single parent families. To generation to generation. I think there's a statistic that was just told me recently. Now it was told to me. And then I guess. But I think that that's like...